What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. Man, do I have a very special episode for you guys today. We're gonna be taking a quick look, comparing side by side the new Marantz Cinema 50 and 60. I got them right here, and I can't wait to dive into the details, guys. If you would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and show your support. We ship throughout the entire nation with a free FaceTime video conferencing consultation and would love the opportunity to earn your business. All right, guys, enough talking. Let's get into this review. Okay, before I get into the nitty gritty and show the units up close and personal, Overall, you're looking at a 7.2 channel AVR. This does the processing as well as the amplification at 100 watts per channel for the Marantz Cinema 60. And for the Marantz Cinema 50 right here, you're going up to a 9.4. That These are the big differences between these two units, guys. You have four independent sub controls and two additional channels of amplification at 110 watts per channel whenever you go to the Cinema 50. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of our best sellers right here. Um, let's go ahead and dive into the back panels, the differences between the fronts. Oh, one other big difference that I wanted to point out, guys, is the Cinema 50 goes up to 11.4 channel processing. Pfft, huge for the price difference. All right, let's compare these two side by side. When comparing the Cinema 60 versus the Cinema 50 side by side, there are gonna be a lot of comparable features. You have the Bluetooth Wi-Fi antennas on both units, as well as coaxial digital audio ins on both units. You have your DC outs, RS-232, your flasher in, as well as the remote in and out. Other than that, you also have the FM and AM antennas and your AC power in, and then your terminals out across the bottom that are gonna send power out to all of your speakers. The Cinema 50 is, has the ability to be an 11.4 channel processor, and the Cinema 60 is limited to a 7.2 channel processor with amplification. You got 100 watts per channel on the Cinema 60 and 110 watts per channel on the Cinema 50, only on nine channels. Now, there's different ways that you can set these units up. The Cinema 50 is really flexible. The Cinema 50 is gonna be more for our home theater enthusiasts who may wanna run like a sophisticated Dolby Atmos system. As an example, with this particular receiver, you could do all the way up to a 7.4.4, or you could do like a 9.4.2, or you could do a 5.4.6. So say so you have one row of seating, a lot of people will do a 5.4.4 uh, as an example, or 5.2.4. The middle number stands for the subs, and the last number stands for the overhead speakers, your Atmo speakers, and the low uh, level effects are the first number that I'm speaking about. So you got the five low bed layers, you have your four subwoofers, low frequency bass, and then your four overhead at most for people who aren't familiar with the terminology that I'm just throwing around right now. Okay, let's take a look at this front panel. As you can see, both of them feature the new beautiful front interface. I really like what Marantz did with this cinema line. I mean, that is just sexy. You got power and phono inputs on both units. You have input rotary style selection on both units, as well as the volume and display. All of those things are in the exact same location on both units. Now, whenever you continue to move to the bottom of the unit, you're going to see that the Marantz Cinema 50 has this pop down access panel that is completely hidden, giving the unit a much cleaner look than the model Cinema 60. Now, let's take a look at the buttons that are physically on the front of each unit. 
right off the bat, it looks like they line up pretty close. You have your Pure Direct, your MDAX, Zone 2, Zone 2 source control. I like that they always put that on there because maybe you don't want to grab your remote control or grab your phone every time you want to turn Zone 2 on or off or change the source. Um, or say you have um, some older people in the home that may not be as familiar with technology. That's a very nice feature. You got your tuner uh, preset channel up and down, your dimmer control status, and then your surround sound modes. Uh, the setup mic is on both units, obviously for your Odyssey setup. One thing that I do want to mention is the Cinema 50 does have the ability to upgrade to Dirac Live. All right, that is a wrap on our quick comparison side by side checking out the new Morant Cinema 50 and 60. Guys, we are just thrilled to offer this product to you. You're gonna be happy either route that you go. It really just depends on your setup and what you need dependent on the room. You could potentially use both of these units. You could use the Cinema 60 for a 5.1 or 5.2 in your living room, power up your kitchen or patio, and throw this big bad boy up in your theater room and power up a full either 7.4.4, or you could power up a 9.4.2. Um, or just if you wanted to stick with the built-in amplifiers, you could do a 5.4.4 Atmos system. There's a lot of different options that are available. And this is what we do here at Dream Media. We love talking about the different options that are available. So a lot of those different configurations that I was just throwing around is gonna vary depending on the room and the seating. So say so you have one row of seating, a lot of people do a 5.4.4 uh, as an example, or 5.2.4. We can't do it without you guys, so reach out today and share your support. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.